Hey everybody, Jeff here, and today I added up the price of every single skin for every single weapon in Valorant. Yes, it took me a few hours to add up the price for all the freaking skins. If you were to buy them all from the shop, put them on a list, and rank them from least expensive to most expensive, I was definitely surprised over and over again while making this video on weapons that I thought were way cheaper or way more expensive than what they actually are. Before we get started and I show you all the prices of all the skins for each weapon, I want you guys to take a guess on what you think is one, the most expensive weapon class in the game like shotguns, snipers, and SMGs for example, and two, what is the most expensive weapon in Valorant? See if your guess ends up being right at the end of the video. Also, at the very end, I'll see how much actual real world money I would have to fork over to Riot Games to afford every skin in the game and how many paychecks it would take me at my paramedic job to be able to buy all of them. Now, with that hefty intro out of the way, let's get right into the rankings. So coming in at seventh place and dead last on our list and the cheapest weapon if you wanted to buy everything for that weapon class is going to be shotguns. And I'm sure you guys saw this one coming as there are only two shotguns to choose from, the Bucky and the Judge. Now, what I thought was kind of interesting is the Judge is actually cheaper to buy everything than the Bucky. If you wanted to buy every skin for the Judge, it would cost you 9,925 Valorant points to do so. If you wanted to buy everything for the Bucky, it would cost you 13,675 Valorant points. Now, if you add those two together, that means the shotgun class comes in at the cheapest for 23,600 Valorant points, making it seventh place on our list. That is still a hefty price if you wanted to fork over all that money, but here's another category I wanted to try. I also wanted to see which weapon class has the most expensive average per weapon cost. So since there are only two shotguns to choose from, the Bucky and the Judge, if we take that 23,600 Valorant points and divide that by those two weapons, that means that the average cost per weapon is going to be 11,800 Valorant points per weapon. Also real quick guys, I wanted to let you know that these are only skins that you can physically buy from the shop. I'm not including any of the skins from Battle Passes because honestly, that'd be really hard to take that $10 per Battle Pass and divide it up between all the weapons and you can't even buy them anymore. So what's the point of even doing that? Now, moving on to sixth place on our list are going to be the machine guns. Again, the same thing with the shotguns. There's only two weapons to choose from, making it really hard to rank any higher on our list. Now, what was surprising for me is the Odin is actually way, way cheaper if you wanted to buy every single skin than the Ares. If you wanted to buy every skin for the Odin, that would cost you 7,875 Valorant points but if you wanted to buy every single skin for the Ares, that would cost you 17,800 Valorant points, which is well over double the amount of the Odin, which was pretty surprising because the Odin is definitely way better. And a lot of the skins for the Odin are really cool as well. But if you added those two numbers together, that would give the machine gun category a total of 25,675 Valorant points, making it only a couple thousand higher than shotguns. And same thing with the shotguns, there's only two weapons to choose from, so if we take that number and divide it by two, that will give us an average of 12,837.5 Valorant points per weapon average, which is also in sixth place. Now coming up next in fifth place in the list and very, very surprising to me, is going to be the sniper rifles. Again, there's only two weapons to choose from, but I thought since the operator had so many amazing skins that it was definitely gonna hard carry the sniper rifle category to higher up in the rankings, but the marshal did so bad for the sniper rifle category, only coming in at 8,250 Valorant points, that the operator's insane 27,475 Valorant points was not enough to get it any higher on the list. Now that number makes the operator the most expensive gun in the game so far on our list. Now, if you take those two weapons together and add them up, that'll give the sniper rifle category a total of 35,725 Valorant points if you wanted to buy every skin for the sniper rifles. But if you want to get the average of how much it costs per weapon, that would be 17,862 
0.5 Valorant points per weapon average, making it actually fourth place on that list. Now, coming up in fourth place on the most expensive list are going to be the SMGs. Here's the thing with the SMGs that puts it up above the edge over the sniper rifles because there's only two weapons in this category as well. But here's the thing. The Spectre is an absolute god when it comes to forking over your money and the Stinger performed way better than the Marshall because if you wanted to buy everything for the Stinger, it'll cost you 11,300 Valorant points. But if you wanted to buy everything for the freaking Spectre, it would cost you 27,950 freaking Valorant points, which is just under 500 Valorant points over the operator. Now making the Spectre the most expensive weapon on our list so far. This is one of the guns I was talking about that really, really surprised me as I had no idea this Spectre was going to cost this much. I kind of had a feeling that the operator was going to be very expensive, but the Spectre, that's almost 28,000 which is insane. Now, if you add those two together, that gives the SMG category 39,250 coming in fourth place on our list. But if you divide that between the two weapons in the SMGs, that gives you an average of 19,625 Valorant points per weapon, which actually comes in third on our list because of how hard the Spectre carried. Now, coming in next on our list are going to be the sidearms. Now, I kind of figured that the sidearms were going to score pretty high on this list initially because there's five to choose from the classic frenzy sheriff ghost and shorty here is also a really weird situation where the shorty absolutely destroyed the average for the sidearms because i swear i double checked triple checked quadruple checked my math if you wanted to buy every single cosmetic for the shorty that would cost you just 3925 valorant points which for some weapons there are single skins that are more expensive than every skin you could buy for the shorty and that absolutely tanks the sidearms average up next is the ghost with 13,575 other points if you wanted to buy everything. Above that is the sheriff with 15,650. Above that is a frenzy, oddly enough, which is 15,975. I would have sworn the sheriff would have had more than the frenzy, but I guess not. And coming in at the most expensive for the sidearms is of course going to be the classic at 18,025 Valorant points. Here's the fun part. If you take all of those five weapons together and add them all up, that will give you a grand total of 67,150 Valorant points if you wanted to buy every single thing in the sidearms. Now, if you take that 67,150 and divide that by five, that will give you an average of 13,430 per weapon, which actually puts the sidearms at fifth place which is pretty interesting and 100 percent of the blame goes on the shorty with how poorly the cosmetic options are for that weapon now coming in at second place and probably not a surprise to you guys is going to be the rifles here's the thing with the rifles there are four options to choose from coming in at the least expensive of course is going to be the bulldog i mean honestly whoever uses the bulldog and the grand total for that is going to be 10,425 very average when it comes to every weapon in the game above that is going to be the guardian at 18,550 i was pleasantly surprised to see the guardian having so many different options of cosmetics that you can buy coming up next is also going to add fuel to the never-ending battle of the phantom versus vandal everyone chooses one over the other and will die on that hill on which weapon is better the phantom or the vandal well when it comes to this list that we're making the vandal comes in at 34,000. 250 Valorant points if you wanted to buy every cosmetic for the Vandal. Now, the Phantom just barely, and I mean just barely, beats out the Vandal at 34,575, which is only a couple hundred over the Vandal. And yes, I did my math twice three times and those are the numbers that came up it took me quite a while to add up all of the cosmetics for those guns so that makes the phantom the most expensive gun on our list now if we take those four rifles and add them all up that gives a rifle category to 97,800, which is just absolutely insane if you take that number and divide it between the four weapons in the rifle category that will give an average of 24,000 
450 per weapon which is by far the most expensive on our list so far but wait guys i'm just not done i actually have a confession to make i lied to you all earlier and i sincerely apologize remember when i said that the phantom is the most expensive weapon of valorant like just a little bit ago well that just isn't true it's actually not even close because there is only one weapon more diabolical malicious and more hungry for your wallet and hard-earned money than any other in the game and that is going to be the ever mighty knife yes guys that's right the melee category comes in at number one on our list but i'm sure you're all thinking wait how did the knife make it to number one when it beat out four weapons in the rifle category a singular weapon the knife beat out all four well, that's because Riot Games likes to charge ridiculous prices for the knife. And I, I mean, truly ridiculous prices. It took me quite a while to add up everything for the knife. I did it a couple times and man, this thing comes out to $111,150 freaking Valorant points. That is more than all four rifles combined by quite a lot actually so if you take that 111,000 and divide that by well one i guess we get an average of 111,150 on average for the melee category making it without a doubt the most expensive thing if you wanted to buy every cosmetic in valorant but wait guys i'm still not done because we still need to see how much it'll cost if we buy every single freaking skin in this game we get an astronomically high 400,350 Valorant points if we wanted to buy every single skin in this game. Now I'm over here on the store page for Valorant and if I wanted to buy 400,350 Valorant points I would have to click this $100 button right here 36 times to be able to buy everything i would have to make 36 transactions of this 100 purchase right here to buy everything but that's not it i would have to also buy the 50 dollars option over here if i wanted just enough to buy everything in valorant which is absolutely insane now if i bought this 36 times and this once that would equal to three thousand six hundred and fifty dollars if i wanted to buy everything now as i promised when i was full time as a paramedic i brought home around one thousand dollars every single check you know some money was taken out from taxes and also contributing to 401k but on average i would bring home one thousand dollars per check so that would mean i would have to have four paychecks to buy every skin in valorant which would equal out to two months of work if you guys like the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to notifications if you're new now with all that being said jippy out.